All right, so reacting to the early footage, this is uh, courtesy of uh, Blitz of Tribes fame. You all know him, of course you do. I'll go through this. Uh, for those of you who don't know Tribes, I'm just going to give general commentary. Then we'll go back, stop the video, and do it uh, in detail. I'm not going to be commenting on any of the specific balance of things, because you can read. All right, let's go. So we have the heavy spin fuser. This is the heavy class. And this two-shotting a medium class there. That's kind of how it's supposed to be. He's defending. He's the only one with a chain gun. And look at that. A slow flag carrier. You know what happens to slow flag carriers? They get taken down even by the heavies. Don't be slow. This is the lesson here. Returns the flag. Now, of course, he's no longer on the flag stand. But let's not worry about that. You've got the flag carrier coming in. Kill on the flag carrier with the lights. And there was already um, a carrier on the field there that's wonderful this is the bolt it um curves down it doesn't it is in a straight line a little bit much it's a little harder to use that's why it has a little bit more damage usually um going up nice up off the stand and here again but now there's a defender so the heavy is gonna body block he's gonna try and get away with the flag using the boost pack to get out um this jumping or rocket jumping to get there but again now he's the subject of the heavy munching him down this time however the defender was not able to hit it well he's been able to damage him now going down again a stray shot here but managed to curve around um all right so heavy spin fuser again someone coming in nice midair on that one nice midair on the team as well and we weren't supposed to comment on the ability of this person because he of course is a tribe legend and he's just learning the game so the fact that uh he's having dying here and struggling is you know there's a little bit of an overview there let's completely okay this this is nice uh again another approach straight onto the base disruption is working see the defender is dealing with how the um with the offense managed to get away uh, high-fiving the creativity fence here the out of bounds grid and returning with a, and you can see now there's a flank carrier on the other side there as well so they're crossing paths he's gonna return to the stand home without a flag there so he can't cap it that guy needs to die first and the same thing is gonna happen on that side cutting in here to another flag approach there we are there's a, and again, the defense being disrupted by the offense, and he's clean out. He's gone. Um, the only issue being that he's, again, high-fiving the out-of-bounds grid. Preferably, you want to have a little bit more space so you can at least curve around. So he's going up in the air and then coming down to try and return in this little sandbox here. But there you are. He has the flag. The flag was... Well, the flag carrier of the opposing team was taken out. And he returns so these are little shards of what tribes is let's go down that a little bit more so okay what is happening here so this is the standard attack pattern right we have the heavy defending dealing with the offense that is pelting him and then the flag carrier gets away but this one got damaged and is then cleaned up flag return making sure that there isn't anyone coming in and voila but now i will say the problem is if the heavy defending because this is 5v5 so there aren't that many people around if the heavy is going off his stand to chase even a slow carrier the moment he's in that midfield and the flag is returned he's useless because if there's another light uh, player or anyone on the opposing team coming in well then that flag is gone again and he's stuck there then he can maybe try and intercept but you know the fatties aren't that fast so that's a problem so what you want to do but probably the clip didn't show is you want to reset you want to respawn make sure that you're at the base because those couple of seconds it takes to respawn it's probably quicker than uh what happens if you <laughs> waddle over back to so here beautiful mid-air kill these kind of kills are commonplace they are difficult but once you get into it once your brain starts adjusting to the whole idea of spear throwing um it is 
one of the most beautiful things in gaming and it will hook you and you will forever be tainted by this game and never be able to play anything else it's happened to all of us um that said at that range this one was rather pedestrian but okay <laughs> all right flag return there we are another route Going in. So we do, I will say, there is going to be minimal base play. So the bases will have some kind of defense. We don't know yet what that's going to be like. I'm not going to bother. That's not important right now. It's open. It's free. Okay, so it's open. You can hear them. The comms are so important. Like, hey, there's nobody on the flag. Just grab it, I guess. Even though you're not going that fast. Because the speeds is another thing. Uh, we've got 160. That's kilometers now. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pause here. So 160 kilometers an hour isn't much okay um i think ta has routes going sometimes to 80 300 350 you're really going there and that made the, the thing is the cappers flying carriers they have to study the map they have to study all the approaches um the timing as well and as a defense player that's terrifying because the offense will just shoot at you and you look at them and then you're flagged halfway across the map it is amazing to do, awful to be the subject of, but don't worry, your team is doing the same thing, hopefully at the other side. Then of course, yeah, the, the idea of body blocking, so you can actually physically, if that guy is coming at you at terrifying pace, the best thing to do is, yes, stand in his way and just uh, body check him. And then his run is over because he lost his speed he's lost his purpose the only thing he can do is with his offense try to kill you and then you know slow drag it across the map or hand it over to someone who is fast right so that that little jump here that you saw the little bloop that was the i believe thrust bank or something like that that gives you from a stationary position gives you a little bit more boost um bit of a band-aid i feel but you know, it's a pack. It's a thing. What in the world? And then, of course, again, I will pause again. I'm sorry, but this is the part of video where I do that. Rocket jumping, like in Quake, if you don't know what Quake is. I think Fortnite has, like, a rocket jumping, but that's more rocket riding. Anyway, you shoot on ground. Explosion. You fly away on explosion. Then, you also jet while doing this go fast and of course you trade your health for speed which is sometimes what you need to do now yeah i'm gonna respawn time in there again heavy is attracted holidays and you're gone now he's trying to carve it using the jump pack to like get the angle in but preferably the map would support that that you at least have a bowl or something there's Dangerous Crossing is the most popular map for a reason. That's a beautiful shot. And <laughs> then the teammate gets in there. And yeah, this is the thing in tribes. When you miss that first shot, you hit the first you hit the first one. Yeah, it's not it's done. Your 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 brain, yeah, you're not gonna do it. It's yeah. Missing and then hitting and then it's there's a lot of psychology involved in landing those hits. So again, disruption is successful. The defenders know, uh, didn't see the capper coming. And again, this is really bothering me. I can't keep quiet about this. I need to say it. The fact that he doesn't have a way to just curve around the base, at least give him somewhere to curve. So again, as I said in the first video, it's all happening at the same time on both ends of the map. You saw the, the flag carrier move below. So now we have two enemy flags on both ends. And then, of course, that needs to be cleaned up before the play can continue. Um, here again, disruption successful. This guy jets up to try and kill that guy in the tower. And away goes the Kappa. So there. I will say, though, that if the, the maps remain small, then capping will be easier well. for you you wouldn't need uh, to have to study and again so the here this guy passed off because he knew he gets killed right here right this is the guy who had the flag here we go let's pause that for a moment or let's uh do this so that's another thing that's very important in this game you're not gonna make it you know you're not gonna make it but you have the flag you're low 
you can pass off the flag. Throw it as far as you can with the speed you have and hope that your team can grab it. Because as long as that flag isn't home, you're not scoring. Your enemy isn't scoring. So that's important. Anyway, the one thing in terms of maps that I do want to rant about, and I'm not going to go too long because we're already going 10 minutes. This screenshot. Everything is at the same base level. Every hill returns to the same base level. You have a small hill, a medium hill, and a high hill, which is all returning to zero. Imagine for a moment if we were to raise the middle of this map, and it itself has small, medium, and high hills, but it defaults to a medium level instead of a low. Then, if we had the room, we could introduce a third level of height, a zero level, medium level, high level, that each have their three individual height levels. If you combine those into a little bit of a trifecta, then people who go to the mid-level can keep their speed when they go back to the low level because they're ski down and gain the same speed same for the high medium to low and then if you go from high to low then suddenly you have a lot of speed but you'll have to trade it in because you're not going to put the bases at the low level you're either going to put it at the high level or you're going to put it at the medium level depending on what map you want Anyway, that's what I'm going to be talking about in a next video because I'm already musing about that one. But thanks for watching anyway. More videos to come. My name's Greth. Thanks for watching.